Welcome back to Friday 13th YouTube channel Metalheads. Today, if you're a fan of symphonic metal, this review's for you. Now, it's a band called Bloodbound. Most of you guys out there will know them. They're about to release their new live album. It's called The Tales of Nesferatu, Two Decades of Blood. It's going to be released on the 19th of April on AFM Records. Check it out. The album's been produced by the band at Bloodbound Studios. Now, Bloodbound are formed in 2004 in Bolnes, Sweden. Now, Bolnes has some really good metal acts there. Tad Moroz, also Morgana Le Fay, who later on changed the name to Le Fay. Sadly, Tad Moroz and Morgana Le Fay haven't really made it that big. However, Bloodbound are really making waves in the heavy metal scene. Now, the band would release their debut album for Avalon Records. It was called Nasferatu, released in 2005. And the original lineup for the first album would feature Thomas Olson on guitars, would have Frederick Berg on bass, would have Urban Breed on vocals, was once with Tad Moroz, would also have on drums Oscar Billin. This album was a fantastic debut album for the band. Now, the band's second album was called Book of the Dead. This was released in 2007 on Metal Heaven Records. This album would feature three new members. We'd have Pelly Ackland on drums, we'd have Hendrik Olsen on guitars, and lead vocalist would be Michael Bowman, original with Jaded Hart and Letter X. Now, the band would release their next album, which was called Tabula Ressa. Now, this was released in 2009 on Blistering Records, and this would see the feature a comeback of Urban Breed on vocals. Now, Bloodbound have released 10 albums to date, which shows the passion and strength of the band's music. So, the band's current lineup would be Patrick J. Selby on vocals. On guitars, we'd have Thomas and Hendrik Olsons. We'd have Andreas Borman on bass guitar. Frederick Berg on keyboards. And Daniel Sorgren on drums. So that's the lineup for this new live album. Now, this live album contains 13 songs. And for any band that's releasing a live album, it's very difficult for them to find the perfect songs. So I'm going to tell you what the song titles are for this live album. We'd have Blood Tale, Tales from the North, Slayer of the Kings, In the Name of Metal, When Fate is Calling, A New Era Begins, Battle in the Sky, Drink from the Gods, The Warlock's Trial, Maria, Creatures of the Dark Rail, Rise of the Dragon Empire, and the last song is Nosferatu. Now, Bloodbound have done some fantastic album covers in the past. As you can see right now, this is a great album cover for a live album. It was done by Peter Sala. Now, this live album also comes as a Blu-ray, so if you really want to hear this album and check out the live performance, please do. It was recorded at Masters of Rock Festival. Having not seen the live DVD, I'm very curious to know what it's like, but the live performance audio is absolutely fantastic. If you're a fan of Rhapsody of Fire or even Dragonland, then you're really going to enjoy this band if you've not heard them before. Another band that comes to mind is Dignity and also Dratonus. I have to say Patrick is a really, really good singer. He's very powerful. He reminds me, like I say, of Dragonland singer. The music also reminds me a little bit of Halloween. When I listen to Patrick's vocals, I can also hear a little bit of Andy Dice's vocals. As we all know, symphonic and power metal is very big in Europe. Now, Bloodline is the intro for the live performance. This soon so goes into the song Tales of the North, as we all know is a fantastic song. It really got a lot of airplay back in the day, and it's still a powerful song in the set. Now, I've not seen this band live, but I'm very interested in watching them live. I do feel that Tad Moroz will be a fantastic opening act, considering they're from the same area of Bolnas. Not only do the band have a symphonic and power metal vibe, they also have a Celtic and folk side to them. All in all, all these styles of music really work well. Now, the band have got the heaviness and the melody of Halloween. So if you're a big fan of Halloween, you're really going to like Bloodbound's music. Like I said, Rhapsody of Fire and Dragonland are also influences that mix well with their music. Next up is In the Name of Metal. Now, for me, this is one of my favourite songs by the band. It reminds me of the band from Sweden, Dream Evil, who wrote the book In the Book of Heavy Metal. So, as we all know, it's a fantastic song. It's just got that 80s fist-bang metal vibe to it. I particularly like this song more by this band. It's only for the fact that there's not much keyboards in it. It's less Rhapsody of Fire sounding. It sounds more, like I said, a dream evil, more 80s metal. I do think that this band have come up with some fantastic ideas, very, very powerful vocals. 
very symphonic with some really interesting ideas. However, I have to say I'm not a massive fan of symphonic metal, but I do respect these guys. They've been going for, like I say, two decades, and they've wrote some really, really good songs. And if you are a fan of Halloween, Rhapsody of Fire, Dragonland, Dignity, Dry Turners, then this is a band that you need to check out. They really are good, and the songs are very well put together. All in all, if you've not heard Bloodbound before and you like your symphonic metal, this is a great album for you to check out. It's live, it comes as a Blu-ray as well, so you can watch them and listen to the music. I'm going to give this album four and a half out of five. I think the band are really good at what they're doing. I suggest you go and check out this album. It's released on AFM Records. It's called The Tales of Nosferatu, Two Decades of Blood, released on the 19th of April of 2024. Thanks for watching, Metalheads. Enjoy the symphonic metal moments. Thanks for watching.